Hi, my name is Stuart Langridge, and this is a video series about play-by-post role-playing. We'll look at what it is, how you can start playing, where you can play, and a bunch of tips and tricks for how to make your games the best. Let's talk about PvP. So firstly, what is play by post? Well, I'm going to assume that you already know about tabletop role playing. Dungeons and Dragons is popular right now and it's what I play, but there are countless other games too and there have been for years. But one of the problems has always been getting a group together. Maybe you live in a small town and there aren't many players around, or you don't want to play with the ones there are. And joining a new in-person group can be pretty intimidating, especially if you're more an introvert or anxious about hanging with a bunch of new people. Perhaps you've got a group of people, but it's difficult to find a time when you can all regularly get together for a whole evening or a whole afternoon. Play by Post, or PBP, is tabletop role-playing done by text conversations. Instead of having a single session when everyone's together and that's when you play, a PvP game happens constantly and people respond when they can. So it's the same game of D&D that you might play in person, but everyone can play whenever they get the chance. The GM might say, Lady Falcone invites you all into the drawing room to explain how the Duke has betrayed you, and you, the player, can say, we follow her in and would take a seat. An exchange which might take 10 seconds in an in-person session, but may have four hours between sentences in a PvP game, as the GM and the player take their next action when they have a chance. So this means it's ideally suited to people who can't or don't want to get together with an in-person group. Now, there are already ways to play online. Roll20 and Fantasy Grounds are deliberately set up to be ways of doing remote sessions, D&D over video chat, essentially. And you can do this with Skype or similar video chat things too. That makes it easier to find a group, because now you're not constrained by geography. You can play with people all over the world, not just the ones in your town. But it doesn't really help much with the problem of time. You still have to find a regular evening or afternoon when you can all stop at the same time and play, and time zones make that problem worse. It's much more visual, which is good, but it's also much more around fitting your life around it rather than it fitting into your life. And these things are notorious for technical problems. The most common phrase is, can you hear me now? What about now? Still, all these things are good. Getting together with your friends to play is wonderful, whether it's in someone's living room or on a stream. But if that's difficult for you for whatever reason, but you still want to play, PBP is a great way to do it. In upcoming weeks, we'll talk about lots of different aspects of PvP. Where to play, whether that's Discord or Rollgate, Mythweavers or MRPG or Tavern Keeper. Some of the tools available which are unique to PvP itself and the way it works. Avray, mapping tools and lots more. What makes PvP different and how to be good at it specifically. We'll talk about anticipating, about viewable artifacts, about having time to prepare and players and GM tips, what makes a good PvP game, which techniques work well and which don't. All the advice to GMs and players that's already available also applies just as much to PvP, and there's plenty of that. People such as Matt Colville and Matthew Mercer, great GMs, talk about how to craft a good story, how to establish your game, how to excite the players, how to prep, and all that's still true. You're still a GM, whether you're doing it in person or by text, and the same skills are needed. But there are also some interesting new wrinkles that PvP brings to the tabletop, and we'll go into them in some detail. If there are things you'd like to see covered, drop a note in the comments. And meanwhile, I'll see you soon.